Welcome to the world of probiotic foods. This is Cultured Food Life with your host, Donna Schwenk. Welcome, everybody, and thanks for tuning in today. I'm really blessed to be sharing this hour with you, and I have a really interesting topic today that I want to talk about. And um, before we get started, I really want to tell you a story um, about a woman, and her name was Eva Mona. And Eva was a woman who wrestled with alcoholism most of her life. She had tried to quit drinking for years, and finally at age 53, she still found herself hiding half-empty bottles of scotch all around her house. She was so discouraged, and she was trying everything she could think of to find a way to stop drinking. And in fact, she even started a wheatgrass farm um, since a daily glass of wheatgrass juice helped her some, but it never, ever completely eliminated her problem. It wasn't until she discovered the fermented drink Rejuvelac that she saw her cravings for alcohol completely disappear. Rejuvelac cured me of my alcoholism, Eva stated emphatically. And now she has her own bar, but instead of serving Bloody Marys or margaritas, she serves drinking shots of chlorophyll-laden wheatgrass juice, and then especially her favorite drink on the menu, Rejuvelac, is flavored with honey and lemon. And this beverage, called Rejuvelac, um, was developed in the 1980s by a health food guru named Ann Wigmore. And um, it was really, really pop- popular back then about among raw foodists and people who were into the health food movement back in the 80s. And um, Eva's theory um, as to why it cured her alcoholism was that, that the drink Rejuvelac replaced valuable nutrients she said she was missing. And she stated, alcohol eats up B vitamins, and Rejuvelac has hundreds of B vitamins plus enzymes to help with digestion. Eva said Rejuvelac could help with weight loss too. She stated that Rejuvelac took away my desire for alcohol and solved my weight problem at the same time. The fat started to fall off in all the right places, and I was thrilled. So what is this drink called Rejuvelac? I love this drink. It's, it's a wonderful drink and it has helped me a lot because, um, whenever you're under a lot of stress or your body just naturally uses up your vitamin C and your vitamin B's when you're under stress. And this drink is something that helps me replenish those vitamins. And especially when I'm going full steam ahead or have something going on that, um, is stressing me out. Um, this drink is fantastic for it. And it's, and I want to explain to you, I've got a new, a new thing that I'm doing with this drink that I'm going to tell you later on in the broadcast. Um, but it has some properties that I think that even enhances the, the Rejuvelac that I used to make. And um, it's really high. This drink is very high in B, C, and E vitamins. But it also has a lot of enzymes. And it's a drink that's just made from culturing or fermenting. Culturing and fermenting are the same thing. But you culture either wheat berries or even quinoa. Um, and I'm doing a new drink now that I'm using einkorn berries, which is an ancient, the most ancient wheat that you can find that is so high in vitamins and minerals, the highest of any of the wheat berries. And what a difference it can make. This drink can give you um, a healthy energy boost. It gives you that kind of like, I don't know, it helps you. You know, like a lot of people reach for caffeine. Well, B vitamins can do a similar thing. They can give you the energy that you're craving when you want caffeine in your life to help give you that boost, especially like in the afternoon or like in two or three o'clock in the afternoon when people naturally have a dip down sometimes because of their energy. This drink can help you greatly, but it also can improve your digestion and it also will give you probiotics. So people ask me all the time, well, is Rejuvelac alcoholic? Well, in fermentation, you're going to get small amounts of alcohol, but you're also going to get that in orange juice. You're going to get it in chewing gum. Um, and your gut even produces alcohol as a byproduct of digestion. But it's such a small amount that it, we really wouldn't classify it as in the same class as regular alcoholic drinks. And if you have a lot of inflammation in your gut because of undigested food, you would receive just enormous amounts of health from drinking and eating things like Rejuvelac and cultured foods um, because it, the, in the small amount of alcohol, alcohol produced is really a non-issue 
health wise. Um, it can't make you inebriated or anything like that. In fact, um, Eating cultured foods it will cause your body to produce less alcohol in your digest tract. It's kind of interesting how it works because your body naturally breaks down things and does this on its own. And so that's why sometimes you get gas and, you know, it's fermentation inside of you. But this drink and these cultured foods that I talk about on all my shows, they actually help you balance all that out. So you get less gas and bloating and you digest your food better and it, it, it's just, it gives your adrenals a, a boost. It gives your whole body the vitamins that it's seeking. Rejuvelac is a very rich source of lactobacillus acidophilus, which is a very beneficial bacteria. And it's also found in things like yogurt and kefir and kombucha and sauerkraut and kefir. And it's, it's just this wonderful beverage that is rich in vitamins E, K, C, B1, and B3, and the minerals, magnesium, potassium, and manganese, and also has a lot of amino, amino acids, and plus it has probiotics too. And it's really easy to make. I'm going to tell you how to make it, and I've got recipes on my website too. Um, but it's, it has all of these wonderful nutrients that you need, your body craves. And a lot of times when, and I've seen this so many times, people who... Um, have trouble with alcoholism or even overeating foods like or an overeater, it's because they're missing valuable nutrients in their body and their body's making them hungry or making them crave foods to try to get those nutrients. And many people love the, love the flavor. It's a very different flavor. It's kind of, I would describe it as kind of a tart, lemony tasting drink. Um, that really is a digestive aid, and it also helps increase the enzyme content in your diet. And since it's enzyme-rich, that um, really helps you to have greater assimilation of nutrients from the other foods that you digest, that you eat, and you can um, digest more of them. So for, for instance, if you're having something with rejuvenic, let's say you're having lunch with it, um, this is going to help you greater assimilate the nutrients from your lunch because it's gonna um, add so many enzymes, it's gonna help break down that lunch and allow you to get more nutrients from that while you drink the beverage and while you eat your lunch. So you're gonna get a one-two punch with that. Um, you'll get more nutrients from the food you eat if you drink Rejuvelac with it. And it's really interesting to me, um, I've just been doing cultured probiotic foods for a very, very long time now. I think we're going on 18 years. And um, they've really done for me what nothing else could do for me. They really made me well, is what they did. And um, they made me so well that I, I mean, whenever you get well, your your brain takes a snapshot of whatever that experience is where you have found the answer to something, and it creates a memory. And um, then you are encouraged to do it again and again because your body uh, realizes that it's good for you. And so you start making neuron connections in your brain and you want to keep doing it because of the way it makes you feel. And that is what happened to me. Um, I, when I realized what, what these foods that I was eating, these probiotic foods was doing for me, I wanted to continue to drink and eat them. And when I didn't, I lost that well-being feeling that I was seeking. So it basically trained me to eat them and drink them because I wanted to feel that way. And I never wanted to go back to feeling the way that I was before. And it really gave me the courage um, because it made my family well too. And then it started to make my friends well. And then they started telling people and their kids got better and everybody around them. And before I knew it, thousands of people were getting well from these probiotic foods and it was just simply food. It wasn't medicine. It wasn't supplements. It was just food that, that they added to their diets. And it just grew and grew. And um, nowadays, I get stories that are so amazing and so wonderful of healing from these foods that that keeps me going too. That keeps me wanting to encourage you to drink and eat these foods because these invisible microbes inside of us um, know how to help us be well, but they need our help. They need to have the nutrients and the probiotics that we can provide them to allow them to grow and do their job. There are many paths to healing, and if something is calling you to wellness, um, you need to heed the call because you wouldn't be listening to this broadcast if you didn't want to be well. And many people believe that most healing foods and medicines and programs are just placebos. 
and that we just need to believe and we can be well. Um, and we need some things in our lives to help us find that wellness that we, we so readily crave. And it's wonderful for me because these foods were the answer for me. Um, they were the, they were the answer to my cries for help, for wellness. And um, all the pain and struggle was worth it because it made me grow. And it made me learn things about my body that I would have never learned any other way. And I, I mean, I'm so thankful for what happened to me because now these foods are a, a regular part of my life. I feel so good. I've helped thousands of people, but you just guys, you just don't know what a joy it is to know that your life struggles have helped other people become well. I mean, there's just nothing like that because it's, it's not fun going through it. But to know that, you know, just around the corner, right on the other side, the sun was shining, there's an answer to your problems, and what you seek is always seeking you. And I want to encourage you to really heed the call and maybe try some of these foods or, you know, even... You can even buy them at the store now. They're available everywhere. Everywhere I go lately, I have just absolutely shocked. Um, we moved to California uh, a year ago to be near our children. Our two older children moved, moved here. And we moved here to be. And I am just, you guys, I am blown away how many kombucha places there are and how many restaurants are selling kefir soda and how many places there are for probiotic sodas and how many probiotic sodas are in the grocery stores now like in Sprouts and this is just isn't my neck of the woods but this is in other parts of the country too it is growing and it is multiplying and people are giving up the sugar laden soda drinks for these probiotic fermented beverages and I am absolutely blown away I'm I mean I went to the beach last week with my daughter and there was a food truck on the beach and it was selling um these acai bowls, which is just basically fruit that's ground up into like ice cream, but it's just really just fruit. And then they top it with granola and uh, some toppings. And then they were selling kombucha and they had it on tap in this food truck. And I was just like on the beach. I was like, what is happening? That was thrilling to me. And uh, we went to another place the other day and there's a new kombucha bar growing, go, opening up there. There's several more um, going every, everywhere I go that's happening. People are writing me about it, and it's growing. And here's the deal. If you start to drink these and buy these things and start to use these as your alternative to buying junk food or fast food, it will grow, and other people will do it too. And before we know it, we'll have an epidemic of wellness. And I just, I want that with all my heart. I don't know if I'm going to see that in my lifetime or not, but I sure am doing my best to try to encourage people to do that because these types of drinks that I'm talking about, Rejuvalac, Kombucha, Kefir Sodas, all of these probiotic sodas, they assist you on your daily lives to help you feel good. They help your children. Oh, I love to see teenagers drinking this stuff now. Um, it is just, it was so exciting to me to see how many people are changing their lives by just drinking these sodas. And it was really funny. I went to, uh, yesterday I had a massage at this, um, I love this place. It's in, it's an Aveda salon, which I love because they have all this natural um, products and they they have a lot of emphasis on healing. And the lady had given me, I had gone to her twice and she had given me another massage. And at, after I got done, she goes, okay, so now I had this woman tell me that one of the best things you can do after you have a massage is because you get all of these um you get the toxins kind of get black into your bloodstream because of the, you work the muscles and lactic acid gets out. And, and so you need to drink a lot of water. But she told me that kombucha really works well. And she said, I told a bunch of my clients that because it assists the liver and detoxification and they started doing it. And then now they swear by it. And I looked at her and I said, well, the person that told you that was me. I told you that a couple of months ago when you did a massage and she started laughing. She goes, oh, it was you. Well, it works. And I said, yeah, see, all you have to do is drink it, try it, and you can't help but tell others because you feel better. And now she's telling all her clients, and that's just thrilling to me. And that's one of the biggest reasons why I do these broadcasts is just to, you know, there's nothing like having a little bit of wisdom behind why you do something or understanding because then you want to do it more. And that's why I do these shows because it's just a short show, but I thought if I can just get in there maybe, you know, once a week or, you know, if you listen to them, or if you come to my website, just enough to keep nudging you in the direction of wellness. Before you know it, um, these new things that you've had to your life will 
prove themselves to you and you won't have to believe me. You'll know it for yourself because your, your life is the best teacher of all. Your own body's experience of life and the things that make you well teach you the most. So let me tell you how to make this rejuvelac. Okay, it's really easy. Now you're going to get, um, let's say you're going to get a cup of wheat berries or two cups of wheat berries. You can do their cup or two cups. And you can use quinoa. Um, I am loving right now einkorn berries. Einkorn is the most ancient wheat there is. It is loaded with so many more vitamins and minerals than um, regular wheat. It has 30% more protein, more B6, more zinc. Um, it has more mag um, magnesium and it is, it's the, it's my favorite thing to use to make bread. I make sourdough bread with it because it's missing the protein that causes so many gluten problems. And, um, you don't, it doesn't, it doesn't have it because it's the most ancient grain grain there is. And it's really where all other wheat came from. So I love to make these, this iron corn, use iron corn berry wheats, wheat berries, but they're because they're so much better for you and it makes a fantastic rejuvelac. And I'm actually putting this, the recipe, um, I've got a new uh, like 25 plus recipes of, for probiotic drinks this next month in July for my probiotic members. And every month we give um, out a free ebook to my members. We have a membership site and it's, it's a wonderful thing for people, especially when they're getting started. We have I think we have 150 lessons and courses and live chats and forum and lots of videos and we give out free stuff to members and we also give a discount to my store but we also every month I try to make them an ebook so they'll have something special to look forward to and this month um, and we also have the one from last month that's going to be running all summer it's summer um, summer tips um, summer recipes that are so good guys you got to check that out and this one is going to be drinks. Now, I have the regular Rejuvelac recipe on my website, free for everybody. But I'm going to put this Einkorn Berry one in there because uh, it's so good in my probiotic book. But it is super easy to make. And let me, let, me, let me just run through how easy this is to make. And you can also go to my website at culturefoodlife.com and type in Rejuvelac and you'll see the recipe there. So first of all, you're going to take a couple of cups of berries, such as quinoa, wheat berries. I'm using the einkorn. You can use rye berries. And you're going to put it in a large glass jar, like a canning jar. Um, that's what I usually do. And then I put about, I fill up the jar with about a quart of water. You know, some of it will be taken up by the berries, but I fill the jar all the way up. And then I let it soak um, for 8 to 12 hours, and I have a little cloth lid over the top. And then after about, you know, you can do it overnight or during the day. And then you pour the wheat berries off the next day into a colander and drain off that old water. Rinse the wheat berries a little bit, put it back in the jar and cover the jar with a cloth and a rubber band. And um, you secure it with a rubber band. So, and then you, this is going to begin the sprouting. And so then you rinse the wheat berries like twice a day for a couple of days. So from get up in the morning, you rinse them, and then you put it back in the jar and put the cloth and the rubber band on them. And then at night, you do it again, so it kind of keeps them moist. And you just rinse them with water, and then you strain the, the water out in a colander. And within a day or two, you're going to see little tiny tails appear on the wheat berries. And that means they're fermenting. And once you see those tiny little white tails coming out of the berries... Um, you know they're sprouted. So you add six cups of water to your jar and you put the cloth lid on the rubber band and you put it on your counter for a day or two. And you kind of, you can stir the jar once or twice a day. You don't have to, but just taste it. See if you like it. And when you'll see that it gets real cloudy and tart tasting and kind of has a lemony taste um, and you'll start to see little bubbles start to form and you you should have a, have a clean taste to it. Then you know that... Um, the rejuvelax ready. So then you just strain off the juice and you can fill the jar up again with water and make another batch, but you can store that juice in the fridge and drink it. And it is loaded with B vitamins. I love to put lime in it or lemon. Some people sweeten it with stevia or honey, or you could put ginger, you could put cinnamon, you could put a squeeze of orange in it. Um, it is absolutely wonderful. You will love the flavor. And you can reuse the berries to make a sec second batch, and it will only take like one day to ferment them. 
and, um, and to make more. And you can find this recipe, you know, step-by-step at culturedfoodlife.com. Just type in Rejuvelac in the recipe section. And um, you'll, you'll love this recipe. It's super easy to make. And all of us, guys, we all need more Bs, vitamin B in our life. And C's and especially vitamin E. But vitamin E protects your heart. And that's a really important vitamin to have. And it's hard to get sometimes. And um, it, there's so many benefits to drinking these probiotic vegetable uh, um, drinks, not vegetables. And the thing about it is, you got to drink something anyway. So why not just add some probiotics to your daily regimen of liquids and really change your gut, help your digestion, give your body more enzymes, and then keeps you young and thriving. I swear, guys, I. I think that if my life, I look at my life now, you know, I don't, I, I'm 58 years old and I feel so good, but I eat these foods. I'm not on prescription meds. I don't take a lot of stuff. I don't have any of the things. I don't even, I don't even drink alcohol because I don't really want it or need it. And it's an interesting thing when you, when you drink a lot of alcohol, you make microbes that make you crave it. And you also deplete your B vitamins and for instance, I was reading this article, somebody asked me the other day about beer and they said, is, is it good for you? Is it probiotic in any way? And there really aren't any probiotic beers on the market, although there's a company trying to do that now. But what happens like when you have, when you make beer and things like that, it could be high in B vitamins, but what happens is the, um, the acids that are in the hops that they make beer with kill the beneficial bacteria. And then they deplete you of the B vitamins. So you don't get any. Your body, the alcohol itself, depletes it because it's hard on the liver. And so I don't think it's a bad thing to do on occasion. I don't really care for it, but I I don't, I like these other drinks so much that I don't crave any of that. And um, if you do have a problem with alcohol, a lot of times it's just because you're drinking it so much, you're you're making microbes that crave that and you're also depleting your B vitamins, which is making you want more of it because it does have B vitamins. It just depletes it when you drink alcohol because of the alcohol content itself. So these drinks <clears throat> are very, very different than I talk about because the probiotics are still intact. The enzymes are still intact. The nutrients are still intact and they don't have the high alcohol that's going to strip the body of the very things you need. So that is my show today about Rejuvelac. Um, it's fun to make. I hope you head on over to the blog and check it out because um, I think it's a great summer drink. I think it's it's so refreshing for you, but I also think um, I just like to see, for you to try it to see how it makes you feel. And if you notice a lift, if it gives you a lift, like, you know, those B vitamins, even if you just take uh, B vitamins in a natural source, uh, you can notice a difference in your life. Your nails get harder. Um, your skin looks better. I've noticed that myself. I would take, you know, natural sources of B vitamins that, and it makes such a difference in your life. So this is my, uh, my little summertime drink. I love to make for Juvelac in the summertime. Um, you can make it all year long, but for some reason I crave it in the summertime. Maybe I need it more. I don't know. I'm more active in the summertime. But I, I hope you'll try it too. Um, it's fun to make. It's easy to make. Uh, head on over to my blog at culturefoodlife.com. Find the recipe there. And if it helps you, send me an, send me an email. We, we read all our emails and uh, we try to help everybody that we can. It's just kind of the way I've done from the beginning. We get a lot of emails. And so every day we get them. But we do our best to answer everybody and uh, to try to help everybody. And... Uh, if you happen to make some, send me a, send me how you liked it and send me a picture and I'll post it. And, uh, it'll, it's just a wonderful community of people that I have on my site that are, that write me and uh, communicate with me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. And we're just everywhere in social media. Um, but it makes it really, it helps to spread the good news that there's things out there that can really help one another. See, when you get healthy, you help other people get healthy, whether you, whether you want to or not, it's just a side effect of being well. Um, you want to help others when you feel good too. That's the other thing that I love. When you feel good, you do good. And so, um, these are just a few tips. Just, you don't have to try all the cultured foods. Just try one, try this drink, give it a whirl, see how you feel. 
and then uh, let me know how it goes. Um, and I hope that sometime this summer you'll you'll be drinking and making these sodas and drinks that will keep you cool, keep you refreshed, keep your body happy, and load you with enzymes, B vitamins, and probiotics because you're a hundred trillion bacteria, and uh, it's really who you are and it makes all the difference when you learn how to access that power it can really change your life have a wonderful week guys thanks for listening